Hey, what's going on guys? This is your boy Keedron with 924 Photography and we have another video for you today. As you've seen in the title, we're gonna be reviewing Silence Corners, Atoll and Atoll X. So let's get into it right now. I purchased Silence Corners, Atoll regular for my A7R5 because I wanted to have a way to shoot pictures and video horizontal and vertical. So Silence Corner is called the Atoll. It allows me to do that. I can go into a quick orientation, super quick, by just rotating the collar. So here is my uh, Silence Corner for my A7 uh, R5 and they're going to be two different versions. You have a version that will work without a cage and then a version that works with a cage and we'll go over there in a second. You'll just have to go to their website to see which uh, one of these is going to work out for you for your application. So for this, if I put this on my monopod, which I have the Suray's monopod right here and I slide it in, I can use the DJI uh, quick release and put it on here, turn this knob, loosen it up, and you, you'll feel it click when it goes to vertical. So I'm gonna turn it back around, and that's how easy it is for me to shoot uh, pictures, vertical or horizontal, or if I'm going horizontal or vertical for a video. It is just that easy. I feel like this is a great invention. It's other companies that make some, but I really like Atoll. They are, it's been great. I haven't had any issues. Now, if we're gonna review this one first, we'll open this up. So the way you put this on, you're going to put it underneath the bottom of your camera here, and it'll go, it'll go into the quarter 20 here and then you're gonna slide it on. So the lens has to come off first and you wanna rotate your collar first, just like this upward. So you can put these two screws right here underneath to go with the base plate. So you'll put the base plate on and this will raise and lower your collar to fit your lenses. Like all the lenses I have, I have mine like closer to the bottom here and it actually works perfectly fine. I don't have any problem rotating my dial at all and if you can hear it you can hear the different clicks so it's like three you got one here and then you got one all the way up here so if you have uh, an option where you don't need that whole thing in there you can come here and you can just slide it on you know on a monopod or a tripod and you can lock it on if you just wanted to use this base so this is going to be just the regular Atoll. I'll put that link in the description. Now we're going to go to the Atoll X. And this is the reason why I needed the Atoll X. This is my FX3. I am running this on a monopod with the Atoll X. The Atoll X has some really good strength to it. So I am not worried about it. If I'm going to leave my monopod unattended, uh, then I'm gonna definitely gonna put a, a sandbag on it so it does not tumble over because this is a lot of money. Now, if you're not comfortable with that, please do not do that. But I've tested this out and it's fine. I know a lot of people in the comments, man, I wouldn't dare do that that way. It is not sustainable, but it's on the bottom. If you look here, it is on the bottom of my cine back. Like I have this mounted to my cine back. So I am not worried about uh, this being on the camera itself because it's not. The Atoll, um, X, it just goes around my lens just like this if you can see it right here and it has a lever here and all you do is come here and you can ro rotate this collar as well to vertical just like that and I'm gonna put it on there now with this one it comes with a little spacer so with the spacer you I, I mounted it to my cine back and then from my cine back I had the little spacer to bring it outward to fit the cage and then I had two more screws that I locked in here and this is what's holding uh, that up but it is not holding as far as my camera, it is on my cine back, which is strong. I've, I've filmed uh, a few of my Instagram videos with this. So basically I'm gonna slide this on and the mount, I wish I could have gotten the mount all the way back behind here, but I actually can't. So it's gonna look sketch, but trust me, it works. So I'm gonna push it as far as I can forward, just like that. So right here, I got it up. As you can see, I don't have my hand on there. 
and it's staying up there pretty well. I don't have to, I, it, it don't have any flex at all. The tripod head or the monopod head type, you'll be good to go. Now, if I wanna go to vertical and do some vertical content, I'm just gonna loosen this up. And then I'm gonna tighten it back down here. And again, like, like I said, I will put a sandbag underneath here if I needed to. Now, if I need to go anywhere, I can go anywhere with this, this setup right here. So I'm gonna move it back right here to show you what I mean. If I wanted to go up and down, I could go up and down with it. And this is the power of the Atoll X. So if you're running a Cine back, you can definitely use this setup just like this. And like, like I said, it's no flex here. So I'm not worried about it falling over if I got a sandbag down here, but if I'm gonna be managing it, I can manage it like this. I'm pretty sure you don't wanna be out and holding your camera like this for a while when all I have to do is come here and raise my camera up and down. And then I have my monitor right here where I can sit here and view whatever I need to view. You see what I'm saying? So this makes it so much easier for me to do my running gun stuff if I'm filming or I'm doing some video or portraits. Now I'm gonna say this. This is how easy it is for me to go back. So now I'm back into the horizontal orientation and I can move it up and down like this, turn it the way I want to. And boom, no hands. So as soon as it settles, we'll be good to go. I think this is a very great product if you are into your social media vertical content or horizontal content and you don't wanna to have to crop in to your actual footage from being horizontal to go to vertical, all you have to do is just hit this little dial here and you turn your whole thing to vertical and boom, you are ready to go and back just like that. It is just that easy to turn your camera from vertical to horizontal. So this is going to be good for content creators. This is going to be good for uh, video uh, agrophers that want that vertical Instagram TikTok content and you need something that is going to be stable. This monopod pairs well with it as long as you are holding it or you put a sandbag down here. Other than that, I would not leave this alone without a sandbag on it if I am going to be doing it. And matter of fact, I wouldn't leave it alone anyways if it's a crowd of people around because that's a risk you just probably don't want to take. Thank you Silence Corner for uh, sponsoring this video. I'm never going to sell you something that I'm not going to use myself. So with that being said, I'm going to see y'all in my next video. Peace.